Alright guys, welcome back to Professor Stick, where today we're going to talk about birth control. Yay! Well, not yay, because this video is pretty cringe. In case you haven't noticed, Christians are generally pro-life. Some are even extreme to the point in which he is against birth control. Roll the clip, please. Nowadays, women do everything they can not to have children. And so they purposefully make themselves barren. They don't see children as a blessing, but they see them as a curse. Well, you can't just generalize to all women like that. Some women want to have children, some women don't. It's just the reality of it. In third world countries, more women would see children as blessings. However, in the first world where many women are pursuing careers, having children can be less than optimal. It should be the woman's choice on whether or not she wants a baby. We don't want the act of pregnancies to stop women from pursuing their dreams, no. And birth control is a fantastic option for those who choose not to be pregnant. Now let me say this, birth control pills cause silent abortions. Silent abortions? Like abortions that nobody notice? What the hell? Birth control is more of a preventative rather than an abortion. Depending on what kind of birth control you are using, it will prevent pregnancy in different ways. The two main ones are either a mixture of estradiol and progesterone or simply progesterone by itself. In simple terms, estradiol will feed back to the hypothalamus after administration. Here, it will inhibit a neuron called the Arcus neuron, which will ultimately inhibit the release of gonadotropin-releasing hormone from the hypothalamus. And we all know what that does. Yup, the adenohypophysis will release less follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone, preventing release of a mature ovum from the ovaries. This method is strictly a preventative measure. It stops the fertilization of an egg. The definition of conception here is quite loosely defined as fertilization and the implantation into the uterine lining. Well, this type of birth control prevents fertilization, thus it prevents conception. So by your own definition, this birth control isn't wrong at all. We'll talk about the second type of birth control in a second. And they are, they are poisonous. Uh, no. When people say poisonous, it doesn't really give any real information. Anything at a large enough quantity will become poisonous, even water. What exactly do you mean by poisonous here? If you're talking about the major components of birth control here, like the female sex hormones, they're not poisonous. They do alter the hormone balances in the body, but that's in no way poisonous. There are many Baptist churches, there are many Christians, very conservative Christians that are completely against abortion. And if you ask them, do you believe that a, that a child that is conceived is a living, breathing, or a living, a living person? They would say yes. And you say, is it wicked to take that little uh, embryo or take that little person and kill it? They would say yes. They'd say, are you against abortion? They would say absolutely. Okay, it's a little incorrect to call this embryo a person at this point, but I'll let that slide. The morality of abortion is a whole topic on its own, and I've already kind of made a video on that, but I will definitely talk about it again in the future. For now, let's see what this guy has to say. Well, if you are against abortion and you're taking birth control pills, that's hypocrisy! Well, no. The combination birth control, which is the one I explained earlier, prevents the ovulation of an ovum, thus no conception can occur. So again, by your own definition, pregnancy or life hasn't begun yet. But let's say you think life starts before conception. In that case, shouldn't we all preserve our sperm and eggs and try to fertilize them all? Because anything further back than conception is literally the gametes themselves, you little bitch! But now, let's talk about progesterone-only pills, the other type of birth control pills. Yes, let's talk about it. Because the if you read the back in the, the, the birth control pill box, and you open up all the stuff that's in there, and you read how they work, they don't stop you from conceiving! They let you conceive, and then a few weeks later, create a hostile womb inside of your body to where that baby dies off. Okay, no, that's wrong. That doesn't apply to the combination pill, so I assume you're talking about the progesterone-only pill. Progesterone-only pills are taken in low doses, and due to this low dose, they can only stop ovulation 50% of the time. So why is this a good contraceptive, then? You are partially right about the hostile environment of the uterine wall. However, it doesn't kick in a few weeks later like you claim. The main thing it does is that it causes the endometrium wall to be extremely thin. When the wall is thin, you don't have enough blood vessels or various proteins that aid in the blastocyst in burying into the wall. However, the biggest effect of this pill is actually to produce hostile cervical mucus. The cervix usually contains a lot of mucus already, which can hinder the journey of a sperm. Progesterone pills enhance this barrier, ultimately preventing sperm from swimming through. 
So by this definition, again, it's only a preventative. It stops the sperm before conception can occur. But if you're specifically talking about the thinning of the endometrium lining, I'm going to have to point out that that's more of a last measure line of defense, and the main line would be the mucus. But let's take a look at the definition of conception here. Many people argue that it's literally synonymous with fertilization. However, medically, it could also refer to the egg implantation into the endometrium. This, by the way, is prevented by the thin uterine lining. So overall, by any definition and by any mechanism, the birth control prevents conception. It doesn't abort. Even the emergency contraceptive, aka plan B or morning after pill, works by preventing conception by giving a sudden dose of estradiol and or progesterone in order to stop ovulation. Also, why are you against the pills so much and not against all the other methods of contraception? For example, transdermal hormone delivery, progesterone injections, progesterone implants, vaginal rings, intrauterine devices, diaphragm, sponge, tubal sterilization, vasectomy, hysterectomy, etc, etc. I guess what this shows is that you don't really know how contraceptives work at all. You're only speaking against it because you think it's equivalent to abortion, which it's not. And even if it can be considered abortion, women should still be allowed to do it. Let them decide for themselves. Let them have the choice. Anyway, sorry for the long rant. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. Peace.